many communities living in Kenya have no access to clean water for their consumption, domestic use, farming, and even to quench thirst for their animals. <laughs> fighting the mentioned monster without a complete success in bringing a permanent solution to the problem because of numerous reasons that could have otherwise been avoided. However, a message of hope is coming your way as a Hope Water Foundation, a charitable organization that has been in existence in Kenya since 2013, is working day in day out to at least reach a good number of Kenyans, especially those living in arid and semi-arid areas in the country. Through its sober and task-oriented leadership, Hope Water Foundation has been able to maintain its credible standards and many visible and positive strides have been witnessed through the entire body.
Ne, ne, ne iniyor. Hadi be. The new company of Water Africa is aimed at serving on commercial purpose compared to the mother company which has been delivering services on charitable purposes to bring hope to the vulnerable Kenyans living in an unfriendly environment across the country. <laughs> Kitu ya kwanza niko na furaha siku ya leo. Uh, kwa sababu hapa uh, tumepata maji. Na nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu wakati tulianza uh, kushikana na Bishop. Sababu shukrani yangu ya kwanza inaenda kwa Bishop. Kwa sababu Bishop ndio tulianza kushikana na yeye na alafu tukakubaliana tukafungua kanisa. Sasa hii tuko na kanisa tatu. Kuna hii tunaita hii kama Riyad CCF Church. Kuna kuna takayo wa chat alafu kuna kokota chat imekuwa tatu sasa hivi so ninashukuru sasa wadi ya hope water foundation kwa kutupea hii maji the two companies have a very able outside team led by Daniel Kipchumbarono who is an experienced driller and a team leader who is there to ensure that there is a purpose in sinking every inch down through the art in search of clean water kwa majina naitwa Daniel Kichumba Rono kutoka Wasangisho County Ainapo iko Sinti Sisi. Eh nafanya na opota eh asa trila la osoreta eh nimefanya hii kasi kwa miaka 8 sasa ilianza 2018 to 2012 mpaka sasa hizi baada naendelea kufanya na Opota International na Opota Africa. Eh ni Madrid kisima na tatu kwa kaunti mbali mbali nikaanza na kaunti ya Turkana sehemu hiyo iko na kiwa maji sana huko imekauka ni machimba balls na moja msini sehemu ya Turkana na watu wanafurahia sana kwa sababu huko imekauka au pato maji wanaenda 14 km ndio wapata maji eh wengine wanaenda 10 km wengine wanaenda 5 km lakini vile nilianza na kuchimba maji eh, Turkana County nimeona umefaidika sana na maji safi walikuwa wanaenda maji safi wana, wanaenda 14 km wanaanza asubuhi wanafika huko jioni wanachota maji wanalala ndio anakuja tena the next day sasa walikuwa wanatumia wanatumia muda mwingi kutafuta maji lakini vile tulichimba maji maji mkoo karibu na mafurahia wamefika mifiko mingi eh ni madrid sehemu za west pocot esfisima karibu 15 ni madrid wa singisho kaunti na Madrid Kisumu kaunti Nairobi kaunti Kajiado kaunti na mengi kaunti karibu 20 na Madrid maji na tumeona umuhimu wa maji maji ni lazima kwa maisha sasa na narudisha shukrani kabisa opota eh, wafadhili management mpaka Milton mpaka Andrew kwa kwa ile machine imesaidia watu wengi sana. Eh hivi jana nilikuwa sehemu ya Takaiwa na Madrid maji huko eh fisema mbili na wengi wanatamani lakini kwa sababu ya pesa ndio kidogo wengi wanatamani ile maji lakini eh, kwa sababu ya pesa tuna drill eh, 
sehemu kidogo kidogo mpaka wengi wapate so tumetoka Takaiwa jana tuma drill eh, maji huko mita 150 na tulipata maji mengi hata watu wako wanafurahi sana lakini saa hii tunatoka tunaenda sehemu za Wasingishu county tunaenda kusaidia wengine huko eh, wengi wanatamani maji lakini kwa sababu ya pesa eh, lakini kila mtu atapata naamini hivyo na wote watafurahia as the time goes kila mtu atapata maji Through their team leader Daniel Kipchumbarono, the outside team is believed to be strong and passionate about their job, mentioning that their joy is to serve the community with up to standard services that will be beneficial to generations and generations to come. Jasper Tukuske Kiplagat Fanya kazi na kambuni Op Water Foundation kama asa asa makani Kwa tunapatanga mashida kidogo kidogo tukianga kwa saidi mali changwa tunayapata kama panja 
na shughuli ya shughuli yetu na malizani ah na tunaendelea na kazi nimefanya na na kampuni kwa miezi miezi mbili na kazi si mbaya sinaona nafanya mzuri sana sa challenges tunapitia ni kama sasa tunaweza enda mahali tupate kama watu wenye ugumu wa wesi ongea Kiswahili na mwanga shida kidogo na mali tena unaweza enda upate huku ni mali changu hakuna maji mimi shida nyingi mingi kila ile tunakabiliana Since the team is aimed at delivering clean water to the people they serve, hygiene is their number one factor, even when they have to cruise through the mud and other dirty surfaces. The company's management has however maintained its emphasis on giving priority to churches so that the source of water in the church compounds will also serve community. Maybe it is because of the prayers of these people. You know, the way you accepted to chimbe kwa makanisa kwanza. Hebu kumbuka hizi makanisa zimejimbwa maji. Watu wakitoka kwa kanisa nje hivi wanasema Jehovah asante. Na Mungu anaona anasema I have to add them more. So, mweke priority ya kwanza makanisa. Na hakuna kuaibika kwa hiyo na musi usiwe na na aibu kwa hiyo. Weka tu na I want to thank God because from these guys hakuna mtu ame oppose kusema kwamba tuchimbe kanisa kwanza. Tuna tukienda mahali popote ni kanisa. Alafu community, kanisa na community, kanisa na community. Sisi kama wenyeki wa wenyeki wa kokoja kama ya Thomas and Its sober and task-oriented leadership, Opoza Foundation has been able to maintain its credible standards and many visible and positive strides have been witnessed through the entire body. Through the company's director, Bishop Dr. Francis B, with unmeasurable support from an able team consisting of the company's CEO, Engineer Philip Ketev, and the company's operations manager, Dennis Tenai, the help of other officials and without forgetting the efforts on the steering and gears that make sinking of balls possible made it possible for the company to give rise to a new baby company of water africa muhimu ambayo tunafanya ni kupatia watu maji na sio maji pekee bali maji ambayo ni mzuri maji safi yale masafi ambayo watu wataweza kuyatumia na kuweza kujikimu katika maisha sisi kama shirika tunafanya katika sehemu za arid areas and uh, those are the harsh areas the areas that are highly affected with the waterborne diseases na yale uh, sehemu ambazo pia aweze kupata maji kwa rahisi 
watu wanasafiri kilomita kadhaa na pia wanatumia muda mrefu kuweza kupata maji na uh, kama tunavyojua most of these people who are living in these areas are pastoralists and uh, the main activity of pastoralists are is actually uh, dealing with cattle and actually that, those are the main livelihood that are depending on and uh, for this case uh, these people don't have access to they, they actually get, they don't have access to clean water because they don't have permanent places where they can settle so they move all around the, the area the region uh, well, uh, getting such in search of clean water and uh, as an organization that is hope water foundation international is a christian organization that we deal with providing clean water we've gone around we've moved around the, the county and we've done our research and survey and we found that the key the main key issue here is uh, access to clean water and uh, for this case we've we've, we've uh, planted several churches in this area and uh, f for us to reach out to those people we've also provided uh, boreholes we've drilled uh, several boreholes for them and we are trying to ensure that they settle they have permanent settlement and we put the balls at strategic points so that uh, these people when they go in search of uh, pasture they come back to their homes the children can get clean water the, so that the children can also go to school they can also venture into other activities rather than depending on on, on the on the livestock they also do so that they, we also train them to do uh, farming that is a uh, horticulture uh, and uh, plant like vegetables so that uh, they can uh, they can sell the vegetables and earn a little income and uh, also so that they can also take the children to the school na mambo mengi ambayo pia tuna tumeona hapa ni kwamba watu wanapitia changamoto mengi sana kupitia haya maji ambayo wanaweza kuyateka kupitia mito maji haya si masafi na wanapokunywa maji ambayo si masafi sio pia mzuri kwa afya ya wanaweza kupata magonjwa water bond diseases ya, yale ambayo yanapitia ya maji na wana shida mingi ya kiafya na kama shirika pia tunawafunza kuhusu usafi we have a, a, a program a wash program that is water sanitation and hygiene ambayo inawafunza ku, ku, kuweza kutumia maji masafi ku, kuchota maji masafi kwa hifadhi ya yale maji vizuri tunawafunza pia wanapochota ma, yale maji ya mito wanakuja kuyafanyia filtration kuyachemsha na pia kuyahifadhi vizuri na ndiposa watoto wao wasiweze kupata shida ya kiafya waweze pia, pia pia na wao kuwa na kuna wili kiafya kupata pia yale yanastahili kwa watoto na pia kwa jamii pia tunafunza wamama jinsi ambavyo ya kusafisha mitungo wanapoenda kutaka maji tuna pia funza wanaume ama watu wote kunao mikono wanapotaka kula na pia kusafisha hata nyumba na kusafisha mavazi yao e, kama shirika pia tumewafikia hao wote na tuna zidi kuwafunza na pia we have uh, we have other people who are working with us who the like the, the, the uh, we have other organization like CMF that is a Christian Mission Fellowship who are also a partners with us ambao pia wameingia humo na wameweza kuwafunza hao watu jinsi ya kutumia maji masafi pia tunashukuru uh, uh, team ambayo tuko na team ambayo ni a Hope Water Foundation it's a great it's a big it's a small team but doing big bigger job and actually these guys that we have here are, are trained are well trained they are we have a team of experts who are, who are actually doing the job uh, in a in a proper way uh, they are not just drilling we are not just providing water just drilling the the crew are not just doing the duty of uh, drilling but they are also doing the duty of a community uh, practicing they are training them to live in a good way in a christian life in in, in our team we have uh, two guys who are, who are missionaries ambao pia ni missionaries wanawafunza kuhusiana na mambo ya biblia mafunzo ya Mwenyezi Mungu tunawafunza kuishi katika hali ya utakatifu 
hali ya kupeleka watoto shule kwa funza kuhusu Biblia na pia tunawafunza kuhusu mambo mema ambayo inahitajika katika katika ulimwengu huu so uh, basically uh, as an organization we, we we work on providing clean and safe water and that's our mandate and we are also requesting other well wishers to partner with us so that we can reach out to to, to everyone who are, who are actually not getting access to 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 actually this water clean water because as an organization we we have uh, we have uh, we are limited to to, to resources and uh, that's our main uh, problem because we cannot reach out to the entire country we cannot reach out to other gov- other county governments because uh, uh, we are limited so we are requesting if we can get other well wishers who can come and partner with us so that we can continue providing uh, service to everyone My name is uh, Philip Ketel. I'm the manager of Hope Water, uh, both the Hope Water Foundation and Hope Water Africa. Uh, this company uh, is looking forward to drill wells at affordable rates throughout the country. Uh, we are a team of very experienced drillers. Uh, our company is composed of uh, 16 crew, most of whom are well trained. Uh, graduates of uh, schools of engineering in various parts of the country. Uh, key among them, the Kenya Water Institute, where most of the graduates obtain their diploma there. We also have university graduates who, are, who took uh, mechanical engineering in school. And, uh, they form a very formidable team in terms of uh, human resource. Uh, this team uh, Deployed, once deployed to the field, they should be able to produce very quality work. That is backed by very efficient machines. Uh, we are operating a PRD Speedstar machines. These machines are capable of doing 350 meters. Those are essentially very deep wells. Uh, the company has been in operation for the past eight years. Over this time, we've been able to develop a wide variety of clientele, ranging from institutions to private citizens to organizations. Uh, due to the demand that has over the time increased because of the quality of the work we do, we thought of expanding the company and that is why we bought a new drilling rig. This new drilling rig is essentially to support the work that has been going on with the the, the old rig, but the old rig is essentially as good as the new one in terms of maintenance. We've been able to carry out maintenance effectively, ensuring that the rig op- operates at the optimum design. Uh, in terms of clientele portfolio, we our rates are favorable such that we we, we can uh, delve into any uh, level of clientele that we can uh, that can approach us and for a well. In terms of the the places where your workers go to dig the wells, I think they're generally very dangerous and uh, hostile due to maybe the conditions and also the community that lives in such areas as in Kenya. We normally know about the security of Turkana and Pukot. So how are you prepared to cover your uh, your workers and assure them their security? Or is it in any case, are they insured? Uh, the most surprising thing is uh, even those uh, warring communities or those uh, the troublemakers, they also need water. And the surprising part is they've always welcomed us even in their hostile territories where other uh, uh, organizations or uh, uh, people that are not welcome because essentially we are 
we serve anyone. So as we travel along, we usually, on very few occasions, we usually uh, hire security services to get the machine and the staff. But generally, we travel by faith and uh, uh, most of our crew are brave enough to venture into those areas and we, we always hope for the best. Is it, is it your duty to maintain the well after you drill or the moment you're done drilling then you're gone from the site? Uh, well, as a company, we have a policy that uh, we uh, want our wells, whether we the commercial wells or wells for charity, to operate the longest uh, time possible. We are thinking of 50, 60 years down the line, this well should be still operational. So we have a very elaborate maintenance plan whereby the past three months the well is retained by pop water. After that we pass this to the client and at times to various organizations. When you operate in the north, especially the Turkana area, we employ the services of the Catholic, uh, the Catholic services. They have a very elaborate uh, well maintenance program that they have developed over the years. So we usually hand over the wells to them after the three months for them to keep maintaining the wells. This generally as a whole is to ensure that these communities continue to see we are getting the much needed water throughout the year. So I want to thank God for the uh, engineer, for uh, Dennis, for uh, Joyce. I want to thank God for Cynthia. Where is Cynthia? Cynthia has been there for, for all along. Yeah, Pesa. So, the power of we, you know, there is nobody who can say that I have done it. This is God and we, Wanaiti, Wanadam. So when, whenever we say we, we say all of us take responsibility. We say all of us, God can use us. We say all of us, we say we. Whatever what is done here, atu tazema me, atu tazema we. So that we can To get the credible services of Hope Water Foundation and quench your unending thirst in your lives, you are welcome to visit their offices in Wasingishu County, Elore Town, in Kipkwargot Estate, as well as contacting their marketing office through their numbers 0746 252600. My name is Ruiz I'm the marketing officer of Hope Water Africa. We are a social enterprise that we aim to drill water all over Kenya in the western regions and the arid and semi-arid areas. We are located at the uh, in Kapagat Road. Our uh, our customers, to reach us at our offices at the Kapagat Road, or uh, can also reach us at our website Hitting the water table, no matter what time of the day, does not mean the end of the journey. Hope Water Foundation with their pace and spirit will forever serve Kenyans with clean water because that is what they do best and the progress is infinity. <laughs>